Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to disable animations in Divi, specifically on mobile, but also for any device. Let's get started. I'll show you this quick little tutorial. If you're watching this on YouTube, as always, click the link in the description and that will take you to the blog post. And the blog post is important because that's where the code snippets are. So in Divi, they have the animation effects, you know, on any of the, the sections, rows, and modules. Let me just show you that real quick. So right here, I'm opening up this blurb module, and I'll just expand this a little. Um, but basically, you have animation right here is the bottom toggle in the design tab, right? So in, you have the animation style to pick from at first. You know, by default, it would be like that, be on none. But then like you can pick fade and you can see a little preview of it right there. Slide, bounce, zoom, flip, fold, roll. And then each of these things, you can adjust other factors like, you know, the speed curve and does it repeat or not? And how much delay is it? And starting opacity, you know, all these things, right? So that, those are, you know, they can be well done. <laughs> they can be overdone trust me um i didn't i'm not a, a person that uses them um, i'll use them just a little bit sometimes but let me just show you as i scroll down here watch on this site see how everything moved you know the fade faded so i have them labeled according to what setting i had uh, let's just do it again see that so you know to me that doesn't do a whole lot but i know that a lot of people like them but if you want to disable that, there's no way to do it. And I should have pointed it out. There's no responsive settings. So it's kind of like once you set it, you're setting it for any device. See how there's no responsive toggle? Um, like, you know, you know what I mean? Like if I right here, like on spacing, you have all the tabs. Um, but for the animation, you do not have responsive settings. So if you wanted to have these um, and you did not want them on mobile because you know when you're on your phone and you're trying to scroll down everything's loading it's going to slow it down a little bit it's also in my opinion not a very good effect now maybe some ux designer out there is going to disagree with me but in my opinion i don't like it when i'm scrolling i want to get to that content i want to see that content I'm, that's what i'm there for uh, i'm not there for some fancy you know fade in effects you know, I'm just I'm just there to see the content and I want to get to it as quick as possible. So the idea is that you disable um, the that whole the whole features. Like you're enabling them in Divi, but then we're disabling them with this code, okay? So that's what we're doing here. So you could go ahead and copy this code. Just click on the button right there. You it copies all of this code right here. Now it's wrapped inside a media query. We're saying, you know, uh, max width. So we're saying anything under, basically in Divi, the tablet and phone sizes. So that's what we're targeting, anything under desktop. Uh, we're saying, you know, we don't want the opacity. Well, we're saying opacity one rather than zero or f a fade somewhere in between. And then we're saying all these transitions and animations are none. We don't want that to happen. So what you would do is go in here to theme options and go down, you know, maybe at the bottom here like this. Go in here and paste that, right? So that's gonna affect your entire site. Now you could put like a CSS class in there, like before the ETPB section, um, you, could, you could make your own CSS class there. But let me just show you that. So if I, um, actually I would need to show you the smaller size. So let's change my browser here. I hope that still records. There's no effect. There's no animation effect. Um, now what I could do, see there it is when I went back to desktop. What I could do is actually remove the media query. I'm going to remove that. Make sure I get rid of the right brackets. So now I'm saying I don't want animations on any device. Now watch this. See there, there was none. See that? It just refreshed the page. Um, yeah. Maybe, I don't know why you would want that, but that's what you could do. Now, um, obviously, I'm kind of um, proud of our little uh, plug-in Divi Responsive Helper. 
So I do mention that here. We have a setting. I have it installed right here. So if I went to the be responsive helper, the, the settings for that, and right here you can see disable. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong setting. Um, sorry. Disable animations on mobile right there. So you now that's on. Um, we do have a lot of settings. Yes, we have 35. Um, but now I will refresh. Scroll down. Oh, I still have the code in there. Now we're going to do it for real. All right, so now everything's working again. But if I was to go to my phone and look, or I'll show you here, there's no effect. So it's disabling it on tablet and phone um, with this setting in our plugin. Um, yes, so there you go. Um, I did do some speed tests, and yes, it does affect performance. Now, it's not a lot. Um, it's not enough to say, um, wow, you know, I got to do this so that my, my page loads fast. Um, it's not really that it's a, it's a, a contributing factor. Um, but again, I would say more for, um, for the user experience too. Um, but yeah, there was like, you know, 30 milliseconds. It depends how you look at it. It does save some performance, some loading time. Um, and and again, I, I made a bunch of tests and they were all slightly different. So I can't give you like a, a flat answer on like, it's going to save you this much. Um, yeah, but it's just that little bit. But anyway, that would be for mobile only. And that would be good because that you're helping Google increase your mobile speed index by maybe like one point. Okay. <laughs> all right. That's all I have. Um, I know that was kind of different. It really was. I, I don't normally do a tutorial like that. It's usually something a little more exciting. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that. If you do like our tutorials, we do have this. Uh, we do have one every single week. So you can subscribe and that's what you'll get. So you won't have to worry about anything else except these Divi tutorials every single week, mostly related to code snippets that do fun things. Uh, we have a lot planned. All right. Well, we'll see you all in our next video.